a chance encounter. As a language student studying abroad, Julia was excited to immerse herself in a new culture and make new friends. However, the reality of being in a foreign country without any familiar faces proved to be more challenging than she had anticipated. One day, feeling homesick and lonely, Julia decided to take a walk in a nearby park. As she strolled along, she spotted a woman sitting on a bench with a sketch pad in hand. Julia had always admired art and decided to approach the woman. Hi there, Julia said. That's a beautiful sketch you're working on. The woman looked up and smiled. Thank you. I come here often to draw. It's a peaceful place. Julia introduced herself and the two struck up a conversation. She learned that the woman's name was Anna and that she was a local artist. Julia was fascinated by Anna's work and they quickly became friends. Over the next few weeks, Julia and Anna met regularly. They would explore the city together and share stories about their lives. Julia practiced her language skills and Anna helped her with her pronunciation. It was a wonderful friendship that Julia never expected to find. As the end of Julia's study abroad program drew near, she realized that she would have to say goodbye to Anna. It was a bittersweet moment as Julia had grown to love the city and the people she had met, but she knew that she had to return home. On her last day in the city, Julia and Anna took a final stroll through the park. As they reached the end of the path, Anna handed Julia a small package. I made this for you, Anna said. It's a sketch of us together. Julia was touched and thanked Anna. She opened the package to reveal a beautiful sketch of the two of them sitting on a bench in the park. As they hugged goodbye, Julia realized that this chance encounter had been one of the most meaningful experiences of her life. She had not only learned a new language, but had also gained a friend for life. She left the city with a new sense of confidence and a greater appreciation for the power of human connection. The Perils of Procrastination As a student, John always found ways to procrastinate. He would put off studying for exams, completing assignments, and even making important decisions. He believed that he worked better under pressure, but in reality, his procrastination caused him unnecessary stress and anxiety. One day, John was assigned a major project that was due in three weeks. He knew that he needed to start working on it immediately, but instead, he put it off until the last minute. Days turned into weeks, and before he knew it, the deadline was looming over him. John felt overwhelmed and helpless. He had wasted so much time, and now he had to complete the project in just a few days. John worked tirelessly, staying up late and drinking countless cups of coffee. He felt exhausted and defeated. However, he knew that he had to push through and finish the project. On the day of the deadline, John submitted his work feeling proud of what he had accomplished. A few days later, John received his grade for the project. To his disappointment, he had received a C. John was confused and frustrated. He had worked so hard on the project, and yet he had received a mediocre grade. He decided to meet with his professor to ask for feedback. 
During their meeting, the professor explained that although John's work was well written, it lacked depth and creativity. He had failed to explore the topic in a meaningful way, and his ideas were shallow. John realized that his procrastination had caused him to rush through the project without giving it the attention it deserved. He had focused too much on meeting the deadline rather than producing quality work. He knew that he had let himself down and vowed to never procrastinate again. From that day on, John started working on his assignments and projects well in advance. He discovered that by doing so, he had more time to think critically and develop creative ideas. His grades improved, and he felt more confident in his abilities as a student. John learned the hard way that procrastination had serious consequences. He realized that he had been holding himself back and that it was time to make a change. He now understood the importance of time management and how it could lead to success. The Gift of Empathy Sophie was an exchange student from France, studying abroad in the United States for the first time. Despite her excitement to experience new cultures and improve her English, Sophie felt a bit out of place. She missed her family and friends back home, and sometimes found it hard to communicate with her American classmates. One day, Sophie was walking back to her dorm room when she heard someone crying. She followed the sound to a bench where a girl sat, her head in her hands. Sophie hesitated for a moment before approaching her. Are you okay? She asked. The girl shook her head and continued to cry. Sophie sat down next to her and offered her a tissue. Do you want to talk about what's bothering you? She asked gently. The girl looked up at Sophie and took a deep breath. I miss my family. She said. I'm from the other side of the country, and I feel so alone here. I thought coming to college would be a new adventure, but it's just been really hard. Sophie nodded, feeling a pang of empathy for the girl. She too missed her family and sometimes struggled with the cultural differences. But she knew that sometimes all you needed was someone to listen. I understand how you feel, she said. I miss my family too. But you know what helps me? Talking to people like you. It makes me feel less alone. The girl smiled weakly. Thanks, she said. I'm glad I'm not the only one who feels this way. Sophie and the girl talked for a while longer, sharing stories about their families and their experiences in college. By the time they parted ways, the girl seemed much happier than before. Sophie felt a sense of satisfaction knowing that she had made a small difference in someone's day. From that day on, Sophie made an effort to connect with her classmates on a deeper level. She realized that empathy and understanding were powerful tools that could bridge even the widest cultural divides. And while she still missed her family and her home, she knew that she had found a new family in her American classmates. The Journey of Self-Discovery Lena was a young woman who had always been content with her life. She had a good job, a loving family, and a close group of friends. 
But one day, she realized that she had never really explored who she was or what she wanted out of life. She had always been so focused on pleasing others that she had lost sight of her own dreams and aspirations. Determined to find herself, Lena decided to embark on a solo backpacking trip through Europe. She had never traveled alone before, but she knew that this was something she needed to do for herself. The first few days were daunting as Lena navigated unfamiliar cities and struggled with the language barrier. But as she began to meet new people and immerse herself in new experiences, she started to feel a sense of liberation she had never felt before. One day, Lena found herself hiking through a beautiful forest in the Swiss Alps. As she reached the summit of a steep hill, she stopped to catch her breath and take in the stunning views. As she gazed out at the landscape, she realized that this was the first time in her life that she had ever felt truly free. She had no obligations or expectations to fulfill, no one to please but herself. From that moment on, Lena embraced her journey of self-discovery with renewed vigor. She tried new foods, learned new languages, and made new friends from all over the world. She discovered a passion for photography and spent hours exploring hidden corners of cities to capture the perfect shot. As her journey drew to a close, Lena realized that she had not only found herself but had also discovered a whole new world of possibilities. She returned home with a newfound confidence and a sense of purpose that she had never felt before. She knew that life would still have its challenges, but she was no longer afraid to take risks and follow her heart. Lena's journey of self-discovery had taught her that sometimes the most important journey we can take is the one within ourselves.